encouraging words to everyone. Don't give up. No matter what you will encounter, any moment from now, don't give up. Listen to me. You will encounter so many difficulties. Jesus never in his ministry promised there shall be no trials, there shall be no temptations. But rather he said I will be with you always. We must understand one thing. Whatever situation we are passing through, God is aware. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Bow your head and let's pray. The mighty God in heaven, the one who can never be compared with any other God. Father, we have seen who you are. This morning, we noticed two things. When you asked Moses, to lead the Israelites despite the dangers they encounter you did not only provide a cloud you also provided fire to cover them the year 2024 oh Lord may fire cover all those who are believers the year 2024 Anywhere you will encounter darkness, may cloud be your light. The same light God gave to the Israelites using the cloud, may God also give you that same light using the cloud in 2024. They were not harmed and they were never touched because the fire of the Lord was upon them. I pray that same fire will be upon your household next year. Shout the loudest amen you can. In Jesus' name we pray. You may have your seats. One encouraging word to everyone. Don't give up. No matter what you will encounter, any moment from now, don't give up. Listen to me. You will encounter so many difficulties. Jesus never in his ministry promised there shall be no trials, there shall be no temptations. But rather he said, I will be with you always. We must understand one thing. Whatever situation we are passing through, God is aware. And he's a faithful and a covenant-keeping God. Don't give up. Like, you see, most often, many Christians are fond of saying this. The way things are difficult, the way things are hard, I'm not sure I'll continue to go to church. Let me advise you, brothers and sisters sitting in church, stop complaining to unbelievers. The more you complain to unbelievers, the more unbelievers will laugh at you. If you have a challenge, move to your brother in Christ. It is stupid and foolish to complain to somebody who does not believe in God. Listen to me. That is what you see in the book of Exodus. Each time you see when Moses will walk up to the king to talk to the king, the king will call out his magicians 